Hello, in this channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you different DIYs that you're not only gonna use them for yourself, but you're gonna be able to sell them. My goal is to turn your hobbies into a business. Thank you for watching my videos uh, first of all and then uh, today I'm going to be making uh, this wine um, glass is for either a bride or a quinceañera so this is what we're going to do and for this uh, you're going to use any kind uh, of fabric or ribbon that you that you can find you can go to Joann's you can go to I think you can buy it mostly at Joann's or any store similar to that where you can get it by the yard. For the bottom you can put something like this and I already did another video where I show you how to, how to make this. It's very easy to make. Or you can put your lace and you can also paint it white on the bottom part. I have a full video that I'm going to put the link up here of how I do this. Or you can do glitter in the bottom. It's really up to you. All these glasses, uh, wine glasses, I mean champagne glasses, I have them available for you and I'm gonna put links of them so you can see them. For this, uh, for this class, you're gonna use any uh, lace that you want to. This one I made with this one here. So I cut a piece of this and I also added a Roski Crystal Flatback SS10. That's all optional because it already Mine already came with some decoration, but I decided to to put extra extra uh, Swarovskis here. Uh, this is the kind of glue that I'm gonna use. It is gonna require letting it dry for a little bit. Here are other uh, laces that I found. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, so you can make it with any any lace that you want. And I got this by the yard at a, uh, a store in Oxnard, which is about 50 minutes away from me. So you're going to need your lace, which this is the one I'm going to I'm going to use. And then you're going to need your Swarovski. You're going to need a tool like this. And I pay $19.99 for this tool and I'm going to put links of, um, of what I got it. So you can just click on it. This came with this bag. It came in this bag and it came with these little uh, tweezers so you can grab the beads and it also came with all these different size for the different um, these ones all different sizes okay for different size beads and it came with two of these these are not Swarovski they're just regular uh, uh, flat back uh, rhinestones but you're going to need some scissors and of course you're going to need your glass wine glass that you want to make so let me go ahead and clean my station and let's get to work okay i actually cut two pieces this is the one piece that i'm going to put in on one side and then this one is going to go in the back just like that so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to cut all around here so let's go ahead and do that and you can find any kind of um, lace that you like and just, you know, be creative and play with it. So I just decided to put in the front that. And another thing that you can do, like for instance, see here it is. For instance, I have this here. So if they're drinking with grabbing the glass like this, you can put the, their name or you can put groom or bride their name or Mr. And, and Mrs., whatever you want, okay, right in here. So basically what we're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that your glass is completely dry, and mine is, and I'm gonna use this microfiber uh, rag so it can aid me in so it doesn't move too much. And you just have to have control of your piece, okay? You need to uh, figure out where do you want it. And I know that mine, I want it so that these two pieces are like right there okay so you're going to need be doing some fixing and some pulling for with it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting a little bit of glue 
and then work my way around it this is very easy you guys don't let this uh, uh you know make you feel like you can do it you definitely can and if you don't want to put glue in all of it just put glue in all the um the parts that you feel like it needs it like right in here like right in here maybe around here in this flower okay and once you put it on your on your uh champagne glass then you can figure that if you want more somewhere else so i'm going to put it right here in, in the middle okay and basically what you're going to do is place it where you want it so we want these to go against just the glass okay and you want to make sure that it's put down correctly so it doesn't uh, make any no bumps or anything around it so you're just going to put it down and press with your hand kind of hug it with your hand so that it stays in place okay just like that you you're going to hold it like that for maybe about three minutes <music> So now I'm going to go ahead and put my flower right in here. Make sure that I have it correct. I may need to trim a little bit in each side. So I believe I trimmed uh, like this little loop here so that it fits. And I'm going to trim the same loop on the other side. My, my lace, for some reason, the see like these beads are coming off like, re, like very easy. So wherever I see that if on one side it came off, I want, I got to take it off on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here. There it is, so that it stays right when I, where I need it. Okay, so there it is. See, there I have it. Right there. So pretty much we're just going to go ahead and grab it. And let it go in place on both sides it can be a little messy, messy at moments but we at the end we are going to clean it up so we i want to make it like hold it on both sides so i'm going to be holding this for about three to five minutes just to be sure and I, so i will see you in about five minutes it's been five minutes here it is so now basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting the the rhinestones and I'm going to uh, copy what I have here so I'm going to put this in front of me and I'm going to start copying the beads so these these uh these Swarovskis have um have glue in the back they're hard hard fix so you can um use them for for different things so my thing is heating up and all i'm basically going to do is like uh whatever whatever i put beads on this one i'm going to copy the same thing and put the same beads on the other one because this is supposed to be a set so it's very easy to to make you guys i really i was really happy with the when i made this so you just uh hold it there you just hold it right there until it stays um, you need to hold it there for about 20 seconds so there it is and in regards to selling these sets you guys they're very easy to make and everything but for instance I got the lace uh, for four dollars a yard but you're not always going to find those those deals okay so you need to uh, go online and look at how much lace uh, cost like the regular price and and then kind of um go from there like for a set like this i'm gonna i'm gonna charge um this one this one i'm gonna charge maybe about 35 dollars for the for the two sets just so that my time and everything that i did it's it's paid okay i pay myself about between 15 and 18 dollars an hour okay and uh as i keep uh, getting more um experience i'm increasing my hourly rate a little more so this bit right here it, it it fell off the the other glass so i'm gonna need to take it out and replace it with another bead 
If you have any other questions in regard in regards to uh, pricing, hey, hit me up on uh, on uh, the messenger on um, Facebook. I'm gonna put the information in the description box uh, where you can instant message me. Just like my page, and you can instant message me, and I can help you with other things. I'm also gonna put all the links of the items that I that I used. The glasses I got from the Dollar Tree, so that's an easy one. And where I got these, where I got the beads and all of that, I'm gonna put links of that. And if you guys are happy with the content um, I'm bringing to you, I will really appreciate, appreciate it if you can uh, subscribe, like, and share. Look at how beautiful it looks. I still need to clean it. Okay, but look, look at that beauty. So then you can etch their name or put love or whatever you want here. I have a videos that I'm gonna put a link up there on how to etch on glass. And pretty much so you don't have to look at the other video, I'm gonna show you how I make this. Because we don't want uh, the this lace, the, the tool to overtake the glass, you need to do very small loops. So you're just going to go just like that, grabbing your tool. And you're going to make between six and eight little loops in each side. So here we have five. We're going to go ahead and do six, six in each side. Okay, so then you're going to leave a little tail. You're going to cut it and you're going to cut another piece just like that okay and then you're going to um go ahead and put it together with the same thing and you're going to leave and you're going to leave these okay you're going to leave them because we're going to use them so there you go then you go ahead and just open it up open up all your tool just like that Okay, so here it is. So now what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my trash can. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some spray. I got this spray at the dollar at the Dollar Tree too. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your bowl and you're gonna spray the glue all around it. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some of, some glitter and just put it over over see here we go so look at how shiny it is and then we're just gonna grab our glass and we're gonna look for the two little areas where we tied all of them together so here's one and here's the other one and we're just going to grab it and tie it together and there you have it there it is let me put it this way so you can see it so there it is so there you have it guys uh i'm, I'm still going to let this dry a little more but you you have the idea uh if you like the content of my videos i would really appreciate it if you can uh Subscribe if you haven't, like and share. That will really help me a lot. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. May the Lord bless you today and every day. Mm -hmm.